in today's video, I'm talking about a painful lesson that a lot of women have been forced to realize. I hope that you don't have to realize this as a woman. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, in today's video, man, I'm talking about something that, you know, is very prevalent these days with divorce rates high as they are. You know, you're seeing 70% uh, of divorces filed by women, 90% if they're educated. You know, 50% of marriages ending in divorce. Man, it is a painful, humbling lesson. And oftentimes women, once they realize it, there's just bitterness there. There is no healing. There is no change. There's just bitterness there. Man, one narrative that women have been using for a long time is men ain't shit. Let me give you one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it because we all, we all have heard women say that. Possibly your mama, possibly your aunties. You know, you could be a woman out here that actually has a good man and you will let external influences cloud your judgment to the point where you don't give that man his flowers, you know, his proper respect and courtesy because he truly does handle his business and take care of what he's supposed to. But because he's not living up to this standard of perfect that you have in your head, he ain't shit. And I'll tell you, and I'll tell you, I'm a happily married man, but I'm human. I don't expect my wife to be perfect because she's human. The only perfect man on the face of this earth that's ever graced this earth was Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach. You know, long as we're striving for righteousness and making the necessary changes according to righteousness, we can get damn near pretty close, but you're gonna have your days to where you will slip you will mess up. You know, you will make a mistake. Complacency will set in. But there is, okay, the things that we can move uh, move past and move forward. And then there's stuff that the most high y'all won't let you in the kingdom for. All right. So a lot of women, you might be sitting up complaining because your man is not a millionaire. He doesn't make six figures. He doesn't do this. But let me tell you what he does do. You don't have to wake up in the morning and try to self-start him, motivate him. You know why? Because he's the first one going out the house. Man, that man goes to work before you, comes home after you, make sure them bills is paid, make sure you're taken care of, make sure everybody has the necessities and then you're blessed even enough to where he even makes sure you guys have some of the stuff that you want but because you might be entitled and bougie you start to discredit this man as if he's not doing enough and you yourself possibly don't produce good fruit you're surviving off the back of the labor of a man while you're not uh, righteously keeping the house like you're supposed to, doing X, Y, and Z like the book says. You know, this man has created an environment to where you don't have to uh, go out there and, and work in the system and deal with all that, but you don't give him his respect. This man has made it to where, okay, he doesn't want you to work, doesn't require you to work. You work simply because you want to, and that's what the world supports and you don't give him his props, you know? Oftentimes, 
oftentimes we've heard women say that, man, they want to make all this money. They want to do X, Y, and Z, but they don't want to spend their money on the bills. And that's perfectly fine. I'm in alignment with that. But one thing you're not going to do, and you will learn the hard way, is discredit a man when we're charged with being the providers and we're doing what you yourself say you will not do, don't want to do, don't never plan on doing it. And if you had to do it, you know, would be settling. Man, oftentimes when you have women that learn this lesson the hard way, oftentimes there are subtle signs, man. And it, 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 if there's kids in the mix, they will discredit the child. You know, if there's kids in the mix, they will discredit the father, you know, in front of the child. You got to look at it, man. If, you're, if your child is in uh, extracurricular activities and programs, the child might say, man, I wish, you know, daddy could be here. And a rebellious woman will use that as a moment to sow discord rather than, you know, ensuring that child has faith in what their father is doing. Hey, I know you want your father to be here, but he's with you in spirit. You know, he's, if it wasn't for your father, I wouldn't be able to come do this because I would be working also. You see what I'm saying? Your father makes sure, you know, if you're playing baseball, you got the bat you needed, you got the glove, and your father may not be able to make it to all, all these games, but he, he'll make it to your championship. He'll make it to your last game. You see what I'm saying? We got men out here. I want you to understand, you got men out here that work in professions that require grit, and there is certain men that won't even do it because they, they, they hate laborious tasks. You see what I'm saying? You got to think about uh, the person that, that drives the garbage truck. Man, they're on a schedule. That's Monday through Friday driving the garbage truck. But what will happen, man? A woman will discredit you. He don't drive. Oh, sorry, Joker. He ain't never made, made that drive a garbage truck. What happens when that truck don't run? Shit starts to pile up, right? You got to think, man. Women get their judgment clouded very easy by things like social media, the spirit of covenant, seeing what everybody else has, and you start not to appreciate what you have. You see what I'm saying? If you got a man in these last days that's willing to do the basics of what the book says, you are winning. Because you got a whole bunch of haughty and high-minded women that think they deserve all of this stuff and they don't have no man. They don't have no man. This is the hard pill that I hope, you know, women don't have to learn. Man, you one of these women that divorces your man, you run down to that third party, you run down to that third party court system, they side with you, you get a little money, you get a little child support, and you have to sit up and witness your man or your old man, your ex-husband, happy, moving on, See, oftentimes there's a spirit that, you know, is in women where they want a man to be broken. If if I can't have him, if he wasn't good for me, you know, I want him broken. I don't even want him to be able to have the basics in life. You got some women that think like that. That's sad. But this man moves on, find a new woman, and this is when that bitterness starts to set in. Because you see she's happy, he hit and ha ha. He looks genuinely happy, that genuine happiness. And you realize, man, I wasn't able to able to uh, to doggone give him that, you know? And then that bitterness gets worse when family functions go around, children's birthdays, the longer they're in that relationship together and you thinking about, man, they look happy and you don't have nobody to come home to? Oh man, Woo, that's a slice of humble pie right there. That's a real slice of humble pie. You know, you 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 automatically become the third will, but you did it to yourself. Man, I'm telling you, man, I'd rather have as a woman, I'm telling you as a woman, you'd rather have a joker that's stanking from working than a joker that's lazy and stanking. You gotta, you gotta pick your poison. You gotta pick it. At least, at least. You know, that man coming home to provide for you and you know he's funky, you know he's been sweating and laboring, that's not a time to cut him down. 
that's the time to get your butt in there. Make sure that dog on shower is good and hot so he can jump right in in. Make sure his food is ready. You got women out here that have men genuinely taking care of them and put their women first in their life. And these women, their main goal is to just shit on these men. You got women out there like that. And if these men were not handling business at home and in the workplace, women would not have some of the luxuries that they have. I tell you, like I said, man, I hope some women don't have to experience this, but some will be forced to experience it. You'll be high and high-minded, ungrateful, and life is gonna serve you a piece of humble pie that you asked for. You asked for it. You gotta think, women do this all the time, man. They divorce men that are doing the basics and you see the vanity and it's a, uh, it's a, it's called limerence, limerence. You mess around and wreck your whole life behind the bad boy who produces no good fruit. And then you realize, man, this ain't gonna work neither. You know, the narrative of men ain't shit cannot go from relationship to relationship to relationship. Cause pretty soon as a woman, other men and women are gonna look at you even though they're nodding and say, damn, if you choosing all these ain't shit people and you keep attracting ain't shit people, either you're lying or you ain't shit. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.